When black poets congregate, I try to hide the gift pocketed out of Africa. Like a heavy phallus, smooth and used to pounding, but from a woman's hand. From fingers flexed and seeds tossing, palms wavered, steadying gourds ladled at a mountain's foot. From wrists thickened by a bull wrestling, yes, from a tribal scarred woman's hand, does this pestle now rest with me? How many mortars of millet did it pound? Up and down, up and down, sounding to the breaths, up and down of the ancestors left, up and down, tugging within her breast, up and down, guiding the suckling, up and down of the tribe's newest, up and down, up and done. A powdered finesse. A rhythmic whole born of all that was peace done even. So many come together through the motion of a pestle, and so much comes apart. When black poets congregate, I try to hide the gift sifted out of Africa. As verses wind and turn, spilling blood as they pound, resound to a rage, splitting rhythms into beats, Building to a tremor, rising to a call, to appall the guilty. The pestle speaks of some other blackness, of a nurturing whose rage is wordless, beating out time to the breaths of ancestors, left within the sprouting cornrows, left within the water's foam, left within the breathless bull's horn. This pestle seems out of place, a token of a face tribal scarred, whose wordless song is meted out in the up and down, in the pounding, in the grinding out of millets in a mortar. When black poets congregate, I try to hide the gift spirited out of Africa. Loading my head with beat, I'm not supposed to fret. Maybe a gift better refused, maybe a face better uneyed, and maybe a better, a better thing not. For this pestle smooth and used to pounding, wears my whiteness mightily, till the skin peels and drops, revealing in the pounding a beat blown into me, zoned by a tribal gust I must feel or deny what's carried in me. When black poets congregate, I try to hide this gift, pounding Africa into me. <laughs>